Today marks a special anniversary. If you were a kid of the 80s, no one, unless you lived under a rock, didn't know about this album. Van Halen, 1984, 40 years ago today. Historic album, one of the strongest albums to ever come out of the 80s. This is the album that Journey and Foreigner dreamed of making, but Van Halen did it first. Um, I remember a lot of hoopla in the beginning when we heard that Van Halen was using synthesizers on this album, but they always dabbled in it, like since Women and Children first. They were just under the guitar parts and the drumming. It was layered. No one knew how much in the forefront they would be until we heard Jump. But that song, you know, with with Rot's energy, Michael Anthony's bass playing and, and Alex's drumming, they grounded the song enough so it sounded rock, but it went over to the masses and it brought everybody that, like I said, Van Halen kind of dabbled with pop, but this is full-fledged leading it in, but it brought everybody in. It, it was good for everyone. You know, what can you say? 1984, title track. We've always heard instrumentals. This time it was a synthesizer. Jump, the first single. Classic. I love that song. Still do today. Panama. If anybody thought that Van Halen lost their edge, the minute you heard that song, you were rest assured they're still a rock band. Top Jimmy. Interesting little song here about James Koenig who worked at a taco stand outside a and Records in the day and then fronted Top Jimmy and the Rhythm Pigs at night. David Lee Roth struck up a rapport with him and made a song about him. Who knew? Drop Dead Legs, nice little sleazy rocker from uh, from the boys, talking about, you know, how men just love girls' legs, right? Next we have the one and only... Hot for Teacher, another highlight on this album, became a video staple in the 80s. Brings out David Shtick. I mean, you know, he entered, you know, his his rambling in the song. You know, I wonder what the teacher's going to look like this year. Man, I need my pencil, you know. Fantastic. This is where the instrumentation and Rot's shtick was a highlight. This is one of them for sure. I'll Wait is a nice little pop song. And uh, for the longest time, they removed... That the Doobie Brothers, Michael McDonald co-wrote the lyrics on this. I think it was only to like the 2000 remasters that they re-put his name as part of the, you know, writer of the song. Very interesting tidbit on that. Girl Gone Bad and House of Pain are just guitar sonic assaults. Um, you know, again, if anybody thought Van Halen were not a rock band anymore... Listen to these songs. They're just great. Girl Gone Bad is, I heard, was inspired, I think, by ACDC. And House of Pain is just, you know, a sleazy song again. Um, it's certified diamond, which means over 10 million units sold. And it's for a reason. This is arguably, like I said, the part where the band's musicianship and David Lee Rock's showmanship and shtick gel together perfectly for the video and radio waves of the 80s. This is like one of the greatest albums I have ever heard. I still go back to it. I'm in awe every time I hear it. I don't think they've ever topped this. They've tried with when Sammy walked in. I think it was a good thing in retrospect. I think I was heartbroken when David Lee Roth left. But I don't ever think they could top this. I think this is their 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 last greatest album, and I don't know if I think the next one probably would have disappointed everybody. I'm 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 not sure if they would be able to make a, a worthy follow up. But that's me. I mean, good news, bad news. Roth leaving. I don't think they could have topped this. I think this is was like this was like the cream of the crop of their of their catalog with with Dave. You know, so happy fortieth anniversary. Rest in peace, Eddie. Thank you for this beautiful, beautiful album that I cherish to this day. Been a Van Halen fan ever since. Love it. Can't get enough of it. You let me know. Do you have this album? Did you ever listen to this album? Do you know who Van Halen is? Love to hear from you. And if you're a Van Halen fan, let me know. Do you like only the hit singles or do you like the other songs on here? 
Love to hear your thoughts on this album. For me, it's a masterpiece. Love it. Can't get enough. But I'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you soon, guys.